that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I think I'm gonna look for My name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos, and vlogs. So if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Welcome to the last moving vlog, you guys. I decided to make this a whole day in my life because there's actually a good number of things that I need to finish today in terms of moving. So I have a couple of boxes still to bring over from my old place. I have like my mirror and stuff that I need to bring over. Oh my gosh. And then I have my work from home station stuff that I need to bring over. And I have my bullet journal supplies that I need to bring. So actually, before I get into any of that stuff, if you're new to my vlogs, hi, my name is Jenna. I'm in the process of living alone and I'm moving all of my stuff from my old apartment that I lived at for two years into this place. And you'd be surprised how much stuff you accumulate when you live in one place for two years, especially post-grad. I decided to overlap my old lease and my new lease so that I could kind of take my time and bring stuff over as I needed. And I figured that would also be a good way to know what stuff I didn't need. Today's my last day. Today's August 1st. My Wi-Fi actually starts today and I have to wait for Comcast to come at some point between eight and noon today. Lots of like little moving parts today, but I thought it'd be fun to just make this a whole day in my life so I can go a little bit more in depth throughout my day and move all of my last things. And honestly, you guys have been loving the moving vlogs, which makes me so happy. So I'm excited to give you guys one more official moving vlog before it's just living alone vlogs and living alone diaries. So that's kind of what's been going on right now. I wanna show you guys my bullet journal because I think the last time that I showed you was like in the very beginning of the month and I want to be honest <laughs> I want to be honest about my bullet journal since it's been so hectic moving everything this month to be honest like really haven't used it much in like two weeks and I didn't use it at all last week like I just didn't even make a last weekly spread for July so if you guys are new here my bullet journal is one of my favorite things but I definitely have neglected it just because of the move and working and editing and filming and everything but I ordered a new bullet journal which should come I think on Monday but let me just give you guys a quick flip through of my bullet journal for July oh my God, today's August 1st so it doesn't even count anymore but here is what my cover looks like if you guys have been watching my vlogs you guys have seen these and as you guys can see, I just didn't use my trackers for the last two weeks because I honestly haven't used my bullet journal in the last two weeks. This is where my mood tracker ended up being. I think I'm just going to fill this in just for the sake of having something complete later on today, maybe. But, oh my gosh, my fitness tracker. Wow, did not do that. Didn't do journal prompts, but I think I can do a reflection of July journal prompt. So I, maybe I can do that today. I can definitely take a picture of my apartment because I moved in in July. And then these are all of my weekly spreads. I loved this one. This was a recreation of Whimsical Doodles on Instagram. And then this was my last one. There's nothing after that. I only have three pages or three spreads left in this journal, so there's no point in starting anything new. That's my bullet journal. I wanted to show you guys before I forgot, and honestly, some of you guys always ask if I haven't shown my bullet journal in a while, you guys always ask about it. So I wanted to make sure to show you guys before we get too into August. I think that's everything I wanted to do right now. Thomas, my boyfriend is here, and we are going to go to my old apartment to get some things. I really need to get my router because Comcast could come at any minute this morning. And then we're just gonna go bring some other stuff, and I'll talk to you guys then. But good morning, welcome to the vlog. Oh my god, who, seriously, who tightened this? Why? I don't think I have enough grip strength for this. Is there like a, not pliers, but. Is there... Ow. Well, can't we just unplug it from that? No. <laughs> oh, that's really tight too. Okay, 
hi guys it is 11 15 right now the wi-fi is working now which is literally amazing <laughs> so i finally feel like i finally live here so right now i'm just watching tessa's video that she uploaded today and it's just so nice you guys it's crazy because i can just have this on playing in the background on my tv which is just something that I was never able to do when I was living with people because I wanted to be mindful of everyone's common space. So it's just nice because this whole apartment, you guys, this is my common space, which is just like, wow. Okay, so the Wi-Fi is working. I brought over my monitor and my chair. Thomas helped me bring everything over. I still have to bring all of my other work from home station stuff. This was just like the cumbersome things. So thank you, Thomas, for bringing over the chair. And I brought my monitor. I'm like going back and forth between if I should get a second monitor or not because I have my laptop stand and stuff. And then usually I'll put like my iPad there. So I don't really know yet. We'll see. But for now, I need to bring the rest of my stuff. But that's the work from home station. And then I brought over my, you guys know this mirror. I bought this from Bed Bath & Beyond a long time ago. But I kind of don't know where to put it because I don't think I want to keep it here. I want to get a mirror to go right there. That's what I want, I think. I wanna get like an asymmetrical, irregular mirror, huge, and put it right there on the wall. So, so I don't really think I'm gonna put this mirror here, but I kind of don't really know where else to put it right now. And I think I'll just keep it here until, until I have something to put here. I'm in the process of collaborating with Jackie, who's Aesthetics Frames on Instagram, to make like a digital art print together of like this coffee and wine nook. So, I think I'll just keep the mirror here until that's done or until I get a mirror to go there. But for now, I just have to bring this over from my old place and this is how the coffee nook is looking. This is the cookie jar that I opened with you guys. I don't remember if I told you in that vlog or not, but Carter, who's like one of my really good friends here on YouTube, she has a cookie jar, I think, or she has some sort of jar that she keeps all of her pods in. So Carter definitely inspired me to do something like this and I just think it looks really fun. I don't know, I really like it. It's like covering all of the wires and stuff. So, coffee nook, wine and stuff. This is my jewelry box that I'm going to move once I get my media console in my bedroom. But for now, that will just stay there. And then in this drawer is all... Oh my god! <laughs> I brought all my bullet journal supplies over and like... <laughs> I just have so much stuff, you guys, for my bullet journal, and I like cannot let any of it go because what if I need any of these colors or any of these types of markers or, or something? I don't know, but it actually fits perfectly in this drawer. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep everything in this drawer or get like one of those art, like three tier storage cards to put it next to my desk, but I think actually this will really work. And if you can hide all of your stuff, then. I even have extra room for this drawer organizer where I'm just keeping all of my like hanging supplies and stuff. So that is my bullet journal supplies. And then lastly, I wanted to show you how the utensils are looking. This is the organizer that I got from Ikea last year or two years ago in my old place. And I thought it was going to be too small and I think technically it is, but for now this will totally do. I just put all of my straws and like serving spoons here and then the rest of my utensils are all here. So I think that's good. And then I was just able to fill the space behind it with an extra towel, my apple cutter, and that's that. And then in this one, I have a drawer organizer and then just some aluminum foil. And then I'm going to get like plastic wrap and put it right here or like Ziploc bags or something. And then in this one, I just kind of have <laughs> random things. Brought all of my pots and pans over. These are the new pans that I got with you guys in my last vlog. And then the rest are things I already had from my old place. So that is what's going on right now. And I brought my knife set over, my toaster's there. And yeah, I think those are all the updates right now. This is how the place is looking, so pretty. One thing I did want to update you guys on is these drawers. I know I've been telling you guys that I want to, first of all, I hate that this is crooked, but there's kind of nothing I can do. I know I told you guys that I was going to paint it black, but when I had some family over yesterday, they actually suggested to just do peel and stick wallpaper which I think is actually a much better idea because then I don't have to worry about the mess or anything. And if I ever did need this finish again, if I move this to another place in the future, then it'll still be there. So I'm gonna look for some contact paper, repeal and stick wallpaper, whatever you call it, and just change like the front part. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I think I'm gonna look for either like a black peel and stick wallpaper or like a concrete looking one to match the coffee table because that's what the coffee table looks like. So if I could get stuff to match, then 
I think it will just look really nice. The only other thing left that I need to purchase for this place, which I think I might just do today because I found some good options on Amazon, um, are end tables for my living room. And what I think I'm going to do is get C-shape end tables so that I can tuck it underneath the couch and then I can use it as like dining as I'm eating my food and stuff because I was going back and forth a lot on if I should get like a dining table or like mini dining table counter height something but to be honest there's only really going to be me in here a lot of the time and a dining table is like I don't really think I'm going to be using it that much I might be wrong but for now I need end tables anyway so I'm just going to get the c-shaped ones and then that way if I'm eating something I can move the table over closer to the couch and put my plate there so that's kind of what I'm thinking I just really like the open space for when you're walking and stuff in this place so those are the plans and I still have some stuff to bring over from my old place. I need to bring over the rest of my work from home stuff and my wall mirror that's there. That's what I want to bring over. And then everything else is stuff that I'm going to take home or toss or donate. So I actually still have a couple of days left in my old lease um, to take all that stuff home. So I'm not going to show that to you guys because I'm not doing that today. But today I'm going to officially move everything else from my old apartment to this apartment. And, and yeah. Okay, those are all of the updates. Very chatty portion, but I just wanted to update you guys and that's why I wanted to do like a whole day in the life for this so that I could update you. Thomas has stepped out for a little bit, but he'll be back at around two and, and then we'll just continue on. But there's kind of not much left other than that big wall mirror, which he has to help me with. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I think I'm gonna go to the gym actually while I have this like free time because I haven't gone to the gym since Monday and it's Sunday. I just like had a crazy week. I was really not getting much sleep to begin with so I just didn't have the energy to exercise which makes me really sad but you just gotta do what you gotta do and I was building things all week. So that's like some sort of exercise I think but I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll take you guys with me just cause I think that's fun and I can show you guys what my gym looks like and yeah okay you guys off to the gym i go i <laughs> it's been a little bit i just couldn't get myself to change honestly i feel like when you take a break from the gym it's like a hard it's like hard to get back to it you know but i put on my outfit this is the lululemon energy bra in the color black and then these are the gymshark high-waisted flex shorts that's what i'm wearing right now let's go to the gym Sometimes it can get rough When you mad enough I'll be your dark Corleone When you're feeling down, feeling low You'll never be alone Not when you're right, you need me Oh, I won't see no you and me Every time I bring you get mad Promise I won't turn my Sometimes that we fight, at least we're sitting side by side. Stupid. 
I couldn't find someone you could trust So let me be with you I could be the one who gives you everything you want and more I've been sitting on the sideline Waiting till the time's right Okay guys, this is my very first meal <laughs> And what other amazing first meal than avocado toast, you know? Except that I forgot I left all of my utensils, like my spatulas and stuff. I left that at the old place, so I need to go get those too. Kitchen utensils, work from home stuff, wall mirror, and I really think that might be it. I think I have everything else. Also, I did pick the end tables. I texted my friend Elise, and here's what we're going with. They're from Amazon, of course, because I really want to, like, I want to get good things, but I want to show you guys. This is obviously all inspired by Kiva, but I want to show you guys that you can have, like, a very nice looking apartment and choose the things you invest in and choose the things that you're not going to spend that much money on. And for me, the end tables are going to be very cheap. <laughs> okay, so these are from Amazon. It's $42. So this is the one that I chose. It's a C-shape black wooden end table. And I'm so excited. I'm going to get two of these so that I can put one on each side of the couch. And I even measured it so that my big plates could fit on it. And I was going back and forth between a circular one and a rectangular one, but I figured since I'll probably be eating at those tables too, I want enough space for a plate and a cup. So if you have a small space like me and you don't think you want a countertop or dining table just yet, don't be afraid to test out using a C-shaped end table. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to guarantee to you guys that it'll work because I'm not sure, but I just really want to have the open space if I can. So we're going to try end tables. Realistically, also, a lot of the time I'll be eating is at my desk for like working from home and everything or using my computer. So that's like a dining table in itself, especially since it's a glass top. So I kind of feel like I'll be fine without a dining table, but we'll see. We'll see. Non like moving related things. I also need to edit tomorrow's video because that's like a whole moving vlog for you guys. And I need to go grocery shopping because I don't have any food. I just use the last of my bread. I only have eggs and that is like really it. All of my other food, just, I used it all up. So I just really like how the place is looking so far. I'm so happy with it. And like, I can play music on my TV, do whatever I want. And it's just all my space. Well, and it's with you guys. I'm sharing this with you. So I'm gonna finish my food. I forgot that I bought my Alexa. So I'm gonna set that up after I finish eating, move some more stuff from my old place. And then I'll talk to you guys later when Thomas comes back. He's on the way back now, so. Talk to you guys soon. Device is ready for setup. Installa la app d'Alexa y sigue las instrucciones. Bonjour. Votre appareil est prêt pour la con... Bringing your device online. Just a moment. Estoy conectando el dispositivo. Espera un momento. Conexión de votre appareil. <laughs> Veuillez patienter. To continue setup. Shut up, Alexa app. Your echo is ready. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Alexa, play music. Alexa, turn off the light. Multiple actions with one command. I have a routine called wake up. Hi guys, okay, I showered and I changed and I'm back in the clothes that I think I started this vlog in. If you guys were curious, this shirt is from Princess Polly and these jeans, a lot of you guys were asking me about these jeans, but these are from Abercrombie, I'll link them. These are the mom jeans and they're in the short length and I love them for my short friends. But I brought all of my work from home stuff over and I know I showed you guys, but here's kind of what we're working with. I just disregard. <laughs> The cable situation i'm gonna figure something out thomas had really good recommendations to just get like a box to put my cables in but if you guys have any good handy tips please let me know my monitor my laptop my mouse and then when you open the drawer that's kind of where i'm storing everything so i have like my notepad notebook all of my different work from home notepads calendar keyboard and then some pens coaster so 
that's kind of what I'm going for with. And I've been playing with my Alexa. Oh, nope, nothing. If you guys have any recommendations or like your favorite Alexa tips, nope. Nope, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Please let me know because I would love to know like how to best use her besides light bulbs and stuff. So Thomas and I are gonna act. <laughs> that's what's going on right now. Those are really all of the updates. That's kind of the last of it. The very, very last thing is to just bring over my wall mirror from my old apartment to this one. And then, and then that's kind of everything. For the rest of the day, Thomas and I are gonna work. I'm gonna edit more of my video for tomorrow and then we're gonna eat dinner. Maybe we'll go grocery shopping. I don't know if we will, but. Thomas, which flavor do you like more of Spindrift? Lemon or raspberry lime? I think they actually taste pretty similar. Uh, lemon. Lemon, lemon. lemon. yeah, lemon's best. That's everything, I'll talk to you guys soon. I just wanted to check in and say hello. Time to go do some work and like relax from all of this moving stuff. So I gotta know if you got it bad like I got it bad for you. You got it bad, like I got it bad for you. If you got it bad, like I got it bad for you. If you got it bad, like I got it bad for you. So give me your mom and show me the baby in town for it. Thomas and I brought up the mirror and I think honestly, so here's how it looks. I think it's a little less than ideal. So I think it'll just be temporary. I found a crack in the bottom of the frame anyways. There's like a crack down there, but I think I'm just gonna keep this for right now. I'm in kind of no rush really to get the perfect wall mirror. Again, I think I wanna get like a big irregular one that's not leaning, but one that I can actually like hang on the wall because then it'll be a little higher and then like my knees and below won't be covered by the chase. But for now, I think this will do. I just kind of wanted to test out like what a mirror would look like in this space. I think actually I would really like it if I got like a big irregular circular like oval type mirror to put on the wall because then I feel like it would fit the space more and also separate the workstation and the living area. So I don't know. I asked you guys on Instagram actually with a poll if I should do a big wall mirror or an art canvas. And art canvas actually won, but I think I'm gonna do a wall mirror still just because this is the only area really to reflect light from the windows. It just doesn't make sense to put a mirror there because it's in the corner and like I wouldn't really use it that much. And then definitely doesn't make sense to put a mirror there. So this is kind of the only area I can put a mirror that would help like reflect some light. I'm trying to tell myself my apartment doesn't have to be like 100% done by the time that I move in, even though I did this overlap with my two leases. More or less, everything is here. It's just maybe not everything is perfect. But I think honestly, I did really good to make this place as homey as possible by the time that I moved in. I also wanted to test out how like the reflection looked. So like you can see my kitchen and the coffee stuff in the background. And I think that looks really nice. So if I could just like shift everything up here, I think that would be really perfect. It's around eight o'clock now. Thomas just went home and I need to finish editing tomorrow's video for you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here today. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me on my last full day of moving. And basically that just means that starting now I'll be living here full time because I have Wi-Fi here, I can work from home here and, and just live here. I'm really excited. But by no means does that mean that the apartment decor and organization and figuring out like what else I need to do vlogs is done. I think I'm just gonna continue on my like I'm living alone playlist and just continue to do like apartment vlogs. Maybe that's what I'll call them. Just so that you guys can see my process of like maybe things that I missed in these first couple of weeks or even just how my first full week of living here went. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And honestly, I'm really relieved that the moving content specifically is done just because the process of moving was so something else. Like I felt like I was living in two different places at once and I was going back and forth all the time. It was nice only in the sense that I could take my time moving stuff over, but I just feel like in the end, maybe that made me a little bit more stressed about it. I don't know. If you guys want, I can do a whole separate video on 
on that whole process and do like maybe a living alone apartment Q&A if you guys want. So definitely let me know in the comments below if you want to see that too. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, I miss you already.